So statues, um, I mean, you all saw the horror of uh, the statue of Jefferson pull, being pulled down in New York. But one of the things that, and, and it's, it, this is the left out of control, this is the insanity, um, this is the inability of people to think, this is the in inability of people to conceptualize, to understand what's important and what's unimportant, what is, what is, uh, you know, what, what is essential and what is not essential. But it was not surprising because we know this of the left. We know that the left at the end of the day hates Thomas Jefferson. But what shocked me was some of the comments to my horror at the fact that Thomas Jefferson's statue was torn down. People said, but you're wrong. You support the taking down of Confederate statues. What's the difference? This is people on our side, supposedly. And that just infuriates me. That people cannot tell the difference between people who are defending slavery, fighting for slavery, leading an army to defend slavery, leaving the Union for slavery, going to war for slavery, writing extensively about the virtues of slavery, advocating for expanding slavery to new cities, to new places, to new states. Those people should not be honored with statues. Those statues should be put in museums surrounded by history lessons. The idea behind the statue of General Lee is there's something noble about General Lee. No, there isn't anything noble about General Lee any more than there's something noble about a general who fought for the Nazis but was a good general. I don't want to see a statue of him. He fought for the Nazis. It doesn't matter if he might have been a nice guy. Like, uh, what's his name, uh, Rommel. Every indication is that Rommel was a nice guy and ultimately, towards the end of the war, tried to kill Hitler. But he fought for the Nazis for years. Sorry, no statues for Rommel. No statues for Lee. No statues for Confederate leaders. But Thomas Jefferson is the guy who made the Civil War, an historical necessity. Thomas Jefferson, who coined the idea that we're all created equal, put it in the Declaration of Independence of this country. By doing that, set in motion, inevitably, a civil war. A man, flawed as he was, he should have not had slaves. Flawed as he was, a man who intellectually, to a large extent, was responsible or contributed immensely to the creation of this country, to the building of it, with all its virtues. A man who was responsible for the Constitution, or he wasn't at the convention, but intellectually supported it an important third president of the United States, and an intellectual leader of the spirit of the United States. And to reject the US and everything the US stood for and everything the US meant and everything the founding documents meant because of slavery is historical ignorance, immorality, stupidity. Thomas Jefferson is a hero, flawed as he is. He is a hero, and absolutely there should be statues to Thomas Jefferson. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe.
press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.